It's the small things that make a difference, especially when you're rendering a scene in Blender. Hey guys, welcome back to That's by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at the importance of volumetric lighting. A lot of people, they take it for granted, and you really shouldn't, because the difference is substantial. Um, this shot has volumetric lighting, and this one does not. The only, it's literally the only difference between the two shots. That's it. It does that much, and it's literally only two nodes. Technically three, but not not exactly. We'll split our window into two here, and we'll, we'll go and change this to the shader editor. We'll get rid of that piece because we don't need it. Now, if we go up here to the object and then change this to world, you can see we have the world nodes, which is pretty much the volumetric uh, lighting setup that I have. It's pretty much nothing. It started like this, right? Let me actually darken this... Um, this uh, uh, this light right here because it was low but then I had to bump it up because of the volumetric shading all right so now this is what the scene looked like pretty much by the way this spaceship you can get from a blender demo file I'll link it to the description you can grab the demo file for yourself um, very slightly modified but anyway uh, we have this world right here and pretty much just this is the simple background that's it that's all that it is right here is just this background node alone that's it there's nothing else now I've hooked up this mix shader, which is just Shift A, search, mix, mix shader. If I search if I search it up and plug that into the volume, you can see no, no, you can see it'll do nothing. It'll do nothing at all. Now if I don't have that checked over the side, uh, I can go ahead and I can Shift A, search, volume, and grab volume absorption and scatter. Now if we plug both of these in, we've done volumetric videos before. If we plug both of these in. The first one will have a little, little to no effect, and the second one is going to be the big one here. The scatter is what's going to, what's going to really help us out. Now you can see nothing's happened because I have this disabled over here on the right hand side. So if I have these default settings, all right. So if I have default settings here on volume scatter, the default settings are as follows, right there, instead of what I have. All right. So if I hook that up and then turn on volumetric, you can see. You can see nothing. The reason you can see nothing is because these settings are too uh, are too high. Now the density is way too high, so you can't see anything. So we'll go ahead and, and drop the density down to around point point two. You can see you can see it at point two, but it's not very good looking. So we'll go to point one instead. Now it's pretty much looking the same. Now if I turn this bad boy up, it won't do much other than it, it will make the light a bit more bright, a bit more ambient. So I did do that. The density of the uh, volume absorption won't do much in this specific situation, so I just left it on zero. But you can see the complete difference between that and that. Now this looks good. This is a good shot. This looks this looks good. Definitely, it looks like uh, a new update in Fortnite's coming out. You know, but. If we're not going for that, we need to be a bit more cinematic, and we'll we'll plug these these just these two really. Like I said, it's technically three because this mix shade over here. We actually don't even need this volume absorption to be plugged in at the moment. To be honest with you, we don't even really need that. You'll get a similar effect, but you can see it does have a bit of an impact on the final render. Um, now, if we don't have the mix shader at all, and we just plug the volume scatter in, you can see that it will not look the same. So it will definitely be a bit different. We don't have the absorption being mixed together with it, even though you can't tell it's doing anything when you unplug it. It definitely is, especially through the mix shader. The mix shader is what's really helping us out here. So that is that right there. And of course, you have this uh, factor slot right here. You can probably get away with doing maybe uh, Fresnel, Fresnel, Fresnel. Um, plugging that in right there. Which won't do much in a lot of the scenarios, but you can see it doesn't actually make it look better in this case, so I'm just going to unplug that for the time being. But volume, volumetric lighting is definitely something you're going to want to keep in mind if you want to go for a more cinematic feel. And of course, I also have color management down here with Filmic and uh, RRT and Film and all the kind of stuff like that. So that is definitely something to keep in mind when you're doing uh, renders in Blender 2.8 EV. I will see you guys and girls in the next tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you then. But until then, bye-bye.